everyone! Well, we're here, we're back, and today we're doing another anti-MLM video, and for this video we will be talking about Beachbody, or Body. Within the last year, Beachbody has changed their name from Beachbody to Body, so dropping the beach part and replacing the Y in Body with an I, so now they are just body. They are also really claiming to be totally different than what they were before, yet they're still an MLM, they're still recruiting people every single day, and they're still selling overpriced products. And the video we will be reacting to is essentially an opportunity call. It is called a body partner info call, so I guess another word for opportunity is the info about why you should totally join this business and why it's so great. And I just have a very strong feeling that they won't talk about the products because the products have not changed. Pretty much nothing about Beachbody has changed since they switched over to just being body. They claim they care more about the mental state of people, which is very ironic when it comes to the MLM world because we know how mentally exhausted everybody is when they are in an MLM. So I just find that very, very ironic. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really, really like it, please subscribe. But make sure to check out my description below for all of my fun links. And with all of that said, let's get started. Oh, hello, everybody. I am so excited to have you guys here tonight. For those of you who don't know me, my name is myself and my sister are going to be presenting to you guys tonight talking all about partnering with body and you know i'll be honest we do these calls often as we've been in this business for almost five years now but this call right now this one is different because the aren't they always different every single one of them is just a little bit special than the one before because they don't want any individual to feel like the call that they are a part of is ordinary average just like all the others but yet it totally is this is different the landscape is different things are changing and we are super super excited to present to you guys tonight and tell you all about it so we are going to get right to the nitty gritty of this. This is going to be truly an information call. Um, so it could be 15 minutes, it could be 20 minutes, but we want we want to like truly respect your time and give you guys the information you need to make an educated decision for yourself, your family, your career, your way forward. All right. So let's get. And are you going to actually explain everything that this business? has to offer and what you have to do in order to do those sort certain things instead of just like it's an amazing opportunity uh without this my family would be in the gutters and uh, my life would be miserable just like how yours probably is miserable unless you sign up for this you know i would really like to hear the reality of what it's like to be in beach body than the over exaggerated lies that most people tell right into it what is a body partner well first of all what is body body is solutions for your fitness your nutrition your mindset and your like resources to help you with all of those aspects of your life it really is a lifestyle business what is a partner a partner is truly partnering with the company partnering with the platform to build community community and monetize your brand and make some income it is truly the most beautiful way to make money if you have a passion if you have a side project if you like to build community if you like to have their, help other people and if you love health and wellness well i see she's not going to tell the truth then because it is not the most amazing beautiful way to make an income it just isn't it you don't make money doing this you spend so much more money investing in the company's products than you ever see return on investment on even if you get people below you you are still having to invest in these products each and every month especially with these health and wellness mlms because you have to keep using the consumable products each month so that means the next month if you don't have any you have to personally buy them it's not like the company 
that you partner with is being nice and sending you these items for free. No, you have to spend your own hard-earned money on these products every single month. And where is this money coming from? Probably from your job, probably from your your spouse, your partner, your family. You know, you might have your own family like buying these products and then you get commission from their sales and then you use that commission to just invest back into Beachbody or Body. I'm probably going to end up just saying Beachbody because I've been saying Beachbody for years. I will, I don't know how often I will honestly call it Body. Maybe eventually I will the more I hear it. I feel like I'm like a, a parrot with certain things. I just parrot whatever I hear people say. Like I've realized when I edit videos, like I want to say like MLA or multi-level marketing or certain things, but I usually just say network marketing or influencer. I'll, I'll parrot whatever the person I hear says, even though I mean certain other things. So maybe eventually I'll end up saying body, but for now I'm probably just going to end up saying beach body for a very long time. It's literally, I, when I introduce myself to people and they're like, well, what do you do? I'm like, I have the best job in the entire world. So yeah, well, we're, that's not at all true either. And again, it's this over exaggeration that what they do is you can't do that anywhere else. Nobody has ever heard of that. You could, if you're really into health and wellness, like you could partner with other lifestyle brands. You can get sponsored by them. Like if you just put out workouts on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and build up a following, you can build your brand through those platforms. And you are truly the brand and you get to decide how things are versus signing up for an MLM and then you have to follow by their rules. You have to only promote their products. I guess you could promote other products. I don't think there's anything in the terms and service that says you can't. But of course, if you're using a different protein powder than the company that you pay to work for, that's just kind of silly on your part versus like if you are, you yourself are just the brand and you are working out and you talk about any product you want. Like one day you might like this one protein powder and then months down the line, if you decide to try something new and you like that one more, you can talk about that because it's your platform. You get to do what you want. You don't have to be a part of team calls and opportunity calls every single week, hoping to find a nugget of information that maybe will spark you a little bit more forward versus just doing what you want to do. How is this different? Like, how is this different than what we've always been doing? Uh, what What is body? How is partnering different? So ultimately, Beach Body has been around for decades, like literally decades, okay? And it started um, like, way like I think it would think 20 years ago now but it's really the brand over the course of the last few decades has really evolved into a brand that has become misrepresented and didn't ultimately represent what the company and the mission was all about and whose fault is that is that going to be the fault of the distributors or is that going to be the fault of the company because i'm gonna say i personally believe it's the fault of the company and focusing on the wrong things and now when they start to see sales declining then they're like oh shoot we need to rebrand and refocus because we start focusing on the wrong thing that benefited us years ago but now this is not what people want so now we have to shift but more than likely a lot of the reps are just like oh no it's just the bad reps who did the business wrong yeah it's always the people who do it wrong not the company it became through media it became kind of like oh, the vision of through, a oh it's through the media the media ruined you guys it's not beach body as as an MLM that could have done anything wrong. A beach body, literally, and having like these clear before and after photos that ultimately presented this ideal of perfection, this ideal of like a striving to have an after photo, striving to have that perfect body, right? When the reality is, is that that ultimately, I know our CEO said that all the, the, the after picture became the enemy, right? You were striving for this perfection that ultimately didn't make anybody feel good. And in the media, um, Beachbody became a brand that we weren't proud of anymore. It didn't represent what we wanted it to, to be. So we've come to the conclusion that it's no longer the brand we want. And we are moving forward with a new brand. Called I bet 
that people are absolutely still posting before and after photos. And a big part of their success club thing when you first join is they do want you to post a before photo so that you can see what you look like before Beachbody and then prove that these products work with like an after photo or a week later photo. It may not be the after photo, but like one week after using Beachbody, three months after using Beachbody, a year after using Beachbody. So they will still be posting these photos. These before and during or before and after photos are still going to be a part of the lifestyle of body. I don't think that that element is going to change. Their wording is probably going to change. That's probably all that's going to change out of this. Body, B-O-D-I. And body is where it always feels good to be you. And truly embracing the body that you have, embracing the person you are, loving yourself today, while choosing healthy ways to move forward with your life and live a really wonderful life. Um, I'm so excited about it. Now, I feel like I heard people say this in each body opportunity calls and team calls is that it's just a lifestyle change. This is a lifestyle brand. You're just changing your lifestyle. It's not about losing weight. And if you do lose weight, that's just a perk along the way. So how is body any different than what they were trying to promote before? I don't think anything. Body is truly all about health esteem, which focuses on truly feeling your best, loving yourself today, loving yourself in your own skin, making healthy choices, making choices that make you feel really great. What I do really love about the business now is that it's gone truly from being about fitness. Maybe you remember decades ago, Beachbody started as infomercials, right? It started with P90X and Tony Horton and like insanity and all these crazy kind of like cutthroat programs that you could do at home. Well, like the rest of the world, we've really evolved into being more of a lifestyle brand that is all encompassing of health and wellness. We include fitness. We still have the best workouts, by the way. We have nutrition, we now have mindset and community, and it truly is a whole holistic approach to healthy living. Um, my, I am most excited that we're now moving forward to more of a like mindset, meditation, softer programming, um, programming that really meets the needs of the individual. It's not about 60 minute workouts, seven days a week and like, go, 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 go all in. It's about loving yourself. It's Again, I'm pretty sure that before in opportunity calls, they would say like, we have a program for everybody's needs. It, we have programs that meet you at any point in your health journey. We have 10 minute workouts, 20 minute workouts. They start easy or they can be really intense. How is this any different? Why do they, why do they choose to lie to themselves? Why is it that they're believing the lies that their CEO puts out? Like, he puts out this absolute nonsensical garbage of we're a totally different program now that focus on the mental health of people. No, you don't. You are just rebranding with a different name. It's the same company. You are doing nothing different besides talking more about a certain topic. That doesn't make you a different company. <laughs> no fueling your body with great food. It's about doing movement that feels good, focusing on your mind and truly loving yourself. So it's a really exciting shift uh, that I am so proud of. The another big shift that's happening within body is that we've moved from coaches to what they're now coining partners. Uh, this is okay. I like that. That is a very good change. I'm still not a fan of, of saying partner, but I do think that partnering does sound better because coaching is extremely misleading. When you say, I am a health coach with this company, people who are unaware of Beachbody will assume that whoever, when they say they're a coach that they are, they have some sort of credibility. They went to school, they did some sort of certificate to know some sort of information that not that they just paid $125 or $165 to join an MLM company and now they can call themselves a health coach. 
So this is a very, very good change that came out of this dumb move to be called Body now, which also like, you know, all these people who are a part of Beachbody and now they have to shift and call and say, I work for, or I'm the CEO of Body. It's like, did you get a say in this name change? Did they go out and ask a bunch of people what the name should be of their CEO boss babe company? No, they didn't. Because they're not the CEO boss babe of the company. The company already has a CEO bro bot, like bro man, bro scammer. Uh, so I'm guessing he did not look out for and ask the people who work underneath him, work for him, make him a bunch of money. I don't think he asked them how they felt about this change. I think he just did it. It's also really evolving with the times, evolving with how um, uh, business is going, entrepreneurship is going, social media is going. I don't know if you're on Instagram or if you're on social media and you see a lot of social selling now. It's become quite the norm to be like, check, click my link, you know, use my discount code or um, save this and get some, you know, like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> There's so many different ways that you can social sell on social media. And it's become very normal for individuals who aren't even necessarily business people, entrepreneurs, but to become social sellers, right? A lot of, you see a lot of women or people on social media representing themselves through, through partnering with brands. Coaching is now evolving into that opportunity. It's not, it's no longer about being um, a coach, which I think a lot of people felt more or less unqualified for. They disqualified themselves before becoming a coach because they're like, what do I know? I'm You're right. What do they know? They paid money to be able to now call themselves a coach, which is extremely misleading to your potential customers who you were talking to. So I agree that it made people feel uncomfortable and unqualified. It's not that they were discounting themselves. They already are discounted because they're not a health coach. They don't know anything. I'm not an expert. I'm not a professional. How am I going to coach other people? They don't have any credentials or qualifications when really at the end of the day, it's not what the job has always been. It should be, I mean, selling, well, no, actually you're right, you're right, because the job is supposedly supposed to sell people on Shakeology and the workouts and whatnot. It's not about being a health coach because you don't have those, you don't have that credential, you don't have the right to call yourself a health coach. So you are right in that aspect, but at the same time, like, you, when you say my job is I'm a coach at Beachbody because that is what your title is. That is what they called themselves. And people are stating, I don't feel comfortable with this. Like, I don't feel comfortable having the the title of coach when I don't know anything. And then to say, like, well, that, I mean, that wasn't your job. You're not supposed to be a health coach. It's like, yeah, but that's my title. That is what I am telling people that I am because in the back office, it says coach. And I think that as partners, it really outlines what we do a little bit better. Now, um, it gives various opportunities for people with various passions, various businesses, various intents um, to really align with this company. It's not to say that some people won't remain, let's say, quote unquote, coaching their communities or leading communities. It's just opening the opportunity for the um, exist the experience to be so much more. It's the exact same thing. It is the exact same thing. It is just now a different word. Literally, all the beach body has done is use different words. Instead of beach body, they are now body. Instead of a coach, you are now a partner. Do I like the shift from coach to partner? Absolutely. I think that is so much better. Do I like beach body as a company? Absolutely not. I still think that the word partner is still incredibly misleading, but you can partner with certain brands, but that's not what they're doing. They are paying to work for this company. They are paying to sell these companies' products versus partnering with like a sponsor, partnering with certain brands. You are working together. You are in tandem. Usually, depending on the sponsor, they will pay you or they will send you these products for free for you to review for your audience. With Beachbody, they are paying 
to sell the products to customers. That is two totally different things. What we really like about it is that Beachbody is now, instead of being simply about your fitness before and after picture, it's really an opportunity for us to, as partners, to um, go about it with our own unique approach to the business. It's not a cookie cutter. Everybody needs to get a transformation and then you can be successful. It's truly a wide range of ways that you can be successful through this business. For instance, my sister is an avid hiker. She lives in Los, An uh, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and she hikes. So as her business, she does these fitness programs. She shares with other women how to fuel their body, how to get ready for a hike, how what workouts to do on days that she's not hiking. And she uses the platform as a way to monetize her passion for hiking. Similarly, um, one of the one of the women on our team. And was she not able to do this before Beach Body changed over to Body, or was she still doing the same thing? Because I, I guarantee she was doing the same thing before. I don't understand the example. Marianne, she is an equestrian. She has a large community of equestrian women. She uses these products and programs to support the women in that equestrian field. They take their uh, pre-workout before they get up early with the horses. When they're out on a long ride, they'll take their hydrate. On the days that they're not riding, they'll do a lot of evening stretches at home or evening meditations. She uses the products and platforms in a way to help her passions and a way to help her community. You can see how easily the same products for different reasons would help the hiking community or the equestrian community. And could you not do that prior to the switch? Are you telling me that when it was Beachbody that somebody that is a hiker or an equestrian, wow, I said that word correctly. I thought I was gonna mess it up in my head, um, could not be a part of Beachbody because those, those are two totally different things. Things that make you active, doesn't matter, they're two different things. And when you were in beach body, you cannot do those things together. They do not work. But now that you're just body, oh, isn't that great that now people with two different hobbies can now also be a part of this MLM? I don't see the distinction. I, I don't see how it is any different. She is not making this a good example because prior to the switch, they talked about mental health and they talked about the wellness of things. This is nothing new. Same goes if you have a different passion. I know there's coaches on our team who are teachers who have a whole community of teachers that they support. You can imagine how these lifestyle products and services can really help that community. So they're building community, helping women, having a massive impact while also building an income for their family. It's, like I said, it's the best job ever. Um, okay, so what what is the opportunity? And I want to be really, really frank here. This is a business proposition. This is a business opportunity whereby you can make income partnering with this brand, partnering with this company, partnering with this lifestyle products and services. It's an opportunity for you to truly monetize the passions that you have. I know for me, it took me a long time to find out what my passion was. You can do that without joining an MLM, without spending hundreds of dollars. You can monetize things that you're interested in because we have social media. People, I think, are aware of that. Also, this whole idea that every hobby, every interest needs to make you money is ridiculous. People sometimes just want to do things that they like, and that's it, because it makes them happy. Not everything needs to make people money. Not every hobby or interest needs to be exploited. After becoming a mom, but I've since realized my passion is really working with women in the federal public service. So those are the women that I support. That's the community that I'm building. That's how I'm serving them because I know that they all need these products for different reasons than the equestrian community, the teachers or the hiking community, right? But one thing I've- Right, but that's exactly what every MLM wants. They want people from every sort of background to join and to figure out a way to fit the MLM products into that lifestyle and to sell 
the people in that lifestyle on those products. So that's not, again, anything new in Beachbody, let alone the MLM world. Really learned over the course of doing this business for the last five years is that you can make up income through your passions. It doesn't need to be, uh, I'm an employee and working nine to five, and then I'll have my passion on my side to keep me happy later on in retirement. No, you can still, you can live your passion now, monetize your passion, monetize this business in a way that helps you with your family and, and really gives you great fulfillment. Okay. I'm going to pass it over to and talk a little bit more about what's involved. All right, before she switches it over to whatever nonsense her sister is about to say, I just wanted to look at Beachbody's income disclosure statement, and it looks like they have their 2021 income disclosure statement up, and looking at it just like any other income disclosure statement, it looks like majority of people are in the rank of Emerald, which I believe is the first rank of when people start recruiting and they need to have at least two people underneath them in order to be emerald so your mom and your best friend your mom and your sister your grandma and your aunt so those are the people you have underneath you and looking at this it looks like average earnings for the year $3,200 but that's not profit at all and I assume only your family is mainly supporting that and looking at it says average 10 year years it looks like it takes people about five years to I don't know if it's reach that rank or maintain that rank for a certain amount of time five years to find two people who are willing to stay under underneath you and probably remain active which is you know purchase the starter kit and maybe continuously spend what is Shakeology 125 dollars a month on Shakeology so yeah I guess I could see why that would take somebody five years to get to and then we'll go down to the next rank of Ruby which takes people about seven years to achieve seven and they their average earnings are twelve thousand dollars so about a thousand dollars a month and it took somebody seven years and that is only 2.9% of development and leadership ranks. So I am going to assume that is everybody in the company and that is 3% of the company and they are average earnings $1,000. And that does not account for the products that they are purchasing each and every month to remain active or just to be a part of this. That is ridiculous. I'm not even gonna go down to the other ranks because it's just not necessary. This is just all we need to be able to see. I mean, of course, Diamond is the one that they want everyone to strive for. The other ones are absolutely ridiculous, but it is interesting that it does go up in percentage-wise of the amount of people who are in the rank of Diamond, which is 9.4. But again, you know, and it takes people five years to get there, which is very interesting the way that this, income disclosure statement is um but still five years and making eighteen thousand dollars in a year that's nothing that's not life-changing money i mean of course you get to star diamond down here i like how i said i wasn't gonna go into this <laughs> but i am you go to star diamond you make one hundred nineteen thousand. that's great but that's 5.5 percent of the company seven years seven years and that's not guaranteed. That's just not. These numbers are insane. And it's it's just, it's not, it's not realistic. And they act like it is and that everybody can do it and that everybody is doing it. That everyone that joins these MLM companies, all of them should be able to achieve said things, but we look and the rank of Emerald has the majority of people, 82% of people, average earnings $3,200. That is not life changing, that is not family saving, that is not travel the world ing money. <laughs> that is typical MLM statistics that show that majority of people do not make money in these things. I love that. And one of the prompting questions that sort of helped me figure out um, the answer to that was, if money and time was no object, what would you be doing? And for me, it's like, I would be hiking and traveling in my RV with my family. And so I was like, okay, then this business is going to be about that for me, right? 
So the big shift here is that, you know, we used to enroll people to coach and it was like, you would open a Facebook community, you would enroll people to do these products and or use these products and do the programs and that was it. But we were missing the mark in that every single human that joins us has something else to offer. And this business is about service. So there's a lot of free value that you can offer the like-minded people in your life while partnering with Body and using this platform as solutions for them. So part of the mentorship that we provide is helping you figure out what that looks like and how to roll that out. So what's involved is this coaching. So there's two main ways to earn income. The first one is commission. So Anytime you enroll somebody with the body platform, so a product or a program, you get a percentage of commission. So it's like a true sort of affiliate partnership, right? The second way is team volume. So body pays you a bonus if you have other partners earning commission. So the way we sort of see this, and you said five years, we're coming up on six years this. So February 14th is my sixth year anniversary partnering with this company and building a team has been what lit my fire in this business because I we hear this all the time is I would just like to hear one person talk about how selling the products was is the main thing that they love doing is the thing that they are truly passionate about because they love the products and they love seeing the changes in people but no it's always a team, building a team and seeing people grow their teams and their passions and their, that's always what we hear because they need people to build the team underneath them. They would not at all mention anything about a team if they did not get financially benefited from it. If, if it was just a part of it, like you could if you wanted to and maybe make like an extra five, ten dollars here and there, people wouldn't do it. They, they wouldn't. And it's not an extra five or ten dollars. It is, a lot of money the more people you have underneath you, which is why people are so obsessed with having more people underneath them. As each individual partner has come on and I've seen what they have decided to do with this business, that's been that's been the game changer for me. And now honestly, like I'll in in the sort the income disclaimer here, I make thousands and thousands of dollars a week based on how well my team does. So there's two sort of ways to run this business, just commission, and you never, you know, enroll any other partners, you just solely like enroll people using the products in the program, or to really dive into the compensation plan, do the mentorship program with us and treat this as like a real business and, and build it. It's so interesting how treating it like a real business is growing a team not selling the products, not being a salesperson for the company. That's not the real aspect of the business. The real aspect of the business is growing a team and just having more and more people underneath you. But yet they're not a pyramid scheme. Team. Um, we meet people where they're at and you're welcome either way. We always tell people at the beginning of the training, like, whether you decide to do this solely for the community and accountability or build a big business, you're welcome here. And there's a huge place here. And a lot of people honestly join, do join for the community because our partner community is incredible. And alongside um, the boat. Well, because you also tell people that it's amazing, incredible, and they couldn't get it anywhere else. You give them that FOMO mentality, you make them feel that if they don't spend this money on Beachbody to be a part of your partner community thing, that they're missing out. They're missing out on something special that only you can give them. And that's not true. They can find community and accountability for free but you will gaslight them to believe that they can't find such things and that the only way that they can ever be a part of something so amazing is to spend the money and that way you get commission. This is and the income you can make with body. There's a lot of rewards. Like in a couple of months, there's about 90 of us that have earned a trip to Mexico. So we'll all be going. A lot of us are bringing our family. It's, it's paid like plus guests. So that is so like that's, wicked for me um okay who is this for this is for women that are looking to earn an income 
and live their passion. Like we used to say like, you know, this is good. Like I started for the accountability. I started because I, I gained a ton of weight through pregnancy and I really wanted the accountability to finish a fitness program. And that remains one of the greatest benefits of this job because you're focusing on your health and wellness. But as we mature in this business, we know who we're looking for now. And it's humans that really want to build a business because that is how like we feel so passionate about helping other people find their unique approach to this business. As Why would it not be people that would be interested um, or who could benefit from using the products? Why is that not the people that you want to focus on? Why is it instead the people who want to build this as a business and who want to earn money? Those are the people you're more interested in and not the products that could help change people's lives that I thought, you know, these products are so amazing and you can change people's lives through them. But instead you're focusing on people who want to make this a business. Business opportunities are not the product. The products are the products I thought. Especially as we enter into this year and we see so many people on our on our team really finding their stride, really building communities that they're proud of, that they are in service to other people. Like the hiking community I'm building, I'm so I'm so excited about it. I love it. Like I love it. And and it gets to be a part of my business and that's so exciting, you know? So when a new partner comes on and they're like, I feel like I could maybe do this business, but I have no idea what that looks like for me. I'm like, like, tell me about you, you know? And it might take you years really to figure that out. Maybe in the beginning, you are just running a community for these products, programs and products. That's what a lot of newbies really do, right? Until they're able to find their stride. So um, it's for people looking to make an income through their passion, through their health and wellness, uh, make an income, paying it forward still always will be for people looking for more accountability in their health and wellness, um, for women who already have a job and are looking for extra income, and for women who are looking to monetize a current passion. I can't tell you how many accounts I've come across of women sharing their like incredible hiking journey, and I'm like, they're making no money, and they could be doing so much more. Maybe they don't want to, again, People who have interests and hobbies don't always need to make money from it because it puts you in a different mindset. When you are doing something to purely make money for it, then it becomes something different. I think I've told this story before, but like my brother-in-law, very he's a very good cook and he loves cooking. And me and my husband have said, like, why don't you go to culinary school. Why don't you do this as a job? And he said that cooking is his escape from work and he doesn't want his escape to be work. And that made perfect sense to us. And we never, never continued on trying to push him towards culinary school, even though I think it would have been great. But I totally understand. Some people want their hobbies and their interests to be an escape from reality from their work life from the mundaneness of whatever they're doing it's an escape and when you turn it into a way to make money that's now work it's now a job and it's no longer holds it still can hold something special of course obviously but it has a different element to it so versus doing something like just going on a hike and just enjoying nature and feeling free, you now are like, okay, what pictures do I need to do? Do I, What do I need to bring along with me in order to monetize this? And what products do I need to show off on the mountaintop once I get there? And what caption do I need to do? Like you're constantly thinking about work versus like, wow, I've never seen that rock formation before. I've never gone left at this intersection before. Let's see what's over there. And just doing it purely for the joy of it and not the monetary value of it. There's so many people sharing their beautiful passions online. And welcome to 2020 fucking three. Like there is a business opportunity here and it can allow you to answer this question and live it authentically. If money and time were no objects, what would you be doing with your day? That's what drives me every single day in this business. So are money and time still not... Are, 
do you still worry about those things or are you free to do whatever you want? Is that why you're totally on this call to not, you know, because you have free time and money? I don't think you, if you had free time and money was no object, you would not be on this call. So if you're like, okay, this is interesting. I have more questions. What's next? Um, we offer a mentorship every single month. So we're nearing the end of January. One will start up in February. Um, and it's based on your goals, based on the level at which you want to dive into this. Like, say you're someone on the call that's never even done a, a body program. That's where you're starting. You're just doing a body program. And you're just like learning the platform and digging into it and maybe having some like probing calls with your, you know, the person that you joined with to figure out what this looks like for you, right? If you've been doing body programs for 10 years, it might be time to like dive in and, and really get into the business, right? So it's going to depend on where you're at and, and what your goals are. Um, I want to tell you guys like, you know, Aaron and I coming up on six years, we both make multi six figure income doing this business. And that's not to brag, that's to impress the opportunity at hand. When Aaron and I joined the first two years of this business, we poured our heart and freaking soul into this. We worked so hard. We were significantly underpaid, but we put our head down and we were like, imagine like this worked out. And we said we were going to give it three years. And when we lifted our head up in three years, we had built the most incredible community of partners and of women using these programs, and it was truly life-changing. So like I said before, if it's a couple hundred dollars a month and some accountability you're looking for, this can fulfill that. If it's something a lot bigger and you have this like feeling in your belly, like if she can do it, so can I, there's that opportunity here for you and you are joining the right team because we've done it. And the people that we partner with, Kim and Jamie Fitzpatrick, Kim is like a, what, four or five time now top 10 coach. They are like the best in biz. So the mentorship that we offer is like none other in the business. A lot of times people will partner with body and not knowing that the team you matter, the, the team you join matters. And that really is the truth. The team you join matters. So we are looking for people that um, are bold and confident and, and, and feel it in their belly, like you can make an impact, you can do something for yourself, you can build a business, like you can build a community, like you can do this. So that's all we have for tonight. We are going to email out um, an, an extra video that might answer some more questions for you. Um, but otherwise, thank you for taking the time to get on this call and um, reach out to the person who invited you. See you guys. Bye, Beachbody ladies. Okay, so she says that the team you join matters because if you don't join her team, then she can't make money off of you. And that's where the problem is. It has nothing to do with the fact that she's like, we're the most hardworking, best team ever because we have blah, 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 who has been in the business for 30 years. And it's like, yeah, because she got in at the beginning. So... Why the hell would she leave? <laughs> she's making stupid money. She is making a lot of money. So she's obviously not going to go anywhere because she's constantly wrote. She has so many people below her that she doesn't need to really do anything because all the people below are just constantly rotating in and out. Some are staying, some are going. But as long as they are spending the $165, she gets that. You know, it's residual income for her. Um, but yeah, that was the beach body transitioning to body and why it's so different. And you've never heard of this before. All of this is super unique. It's all the same. And they're so focused here on being a part of the brand and the partnership and the business. And it's like, yep, that sounds like something that you were doing beforehand too. You were recruiting people in Beachbody and talking about how amazing and wonderful it is and now you're in body talking about how amazing and wonderful it is. And also I do appreciate her stating like me and my sister put our heads down. We worked so hard for two years. We were significantly significantly underpaid. So they will sell this as a way to make money but yet you're stating basically that you made no money the first two years. 
People who join this, I assume, would be desperate for money, de depending, of course, and would like money kind of now. It's like if I just follow the systems, I can kind of fast forward and speed through this because people have already done all the hard work for me, and this should be a smooth transition to going through the ranks and ranking up. But that's that's not the case. And there would be a lot more people than 82% throughout all of the other ranks. It would be 25, 30, 15. Like, we would see it a lot more equal. Not equal, but, you know, it would just look a lot better than what it does. The numbers would be a lot better. And even the people who do make it to the higher ranks, it's like they are spending so much money. And I would just like to know the reality of if they are even making a profit. It's like they say this is, on average, how much you made in a year. But, like, what was the take-home? And that is something I get them not wanting to share for multiple reasons, but it's also extremely misleading. And, you know, it's like, oh, we make six figures. It's like, okay, but do you take home six figures? And to state, I'm not saying that to brag. It's like, no, but you're using it as a little dangly carrot to get somebody interested. Because they're like, oh, my God, I would love to monetize my passion of working out and make six figures. But you probably won't do that. She will maybe eventually get there because she can get a bunch of people underneath her to believe in that lie. But I just think that that's not a fair thing to do. You are not supposed to bring that up because, again, the majority of people don't make six figures doing this. So you should not do income claims because it's just not true. And I don't even think it's true for her. Like, again, you may gross six figures. But I don't think you're netting six figures. And so it's very, very misleading. But hey, it's body now. And they would never lie or over-exaggerate or ever make an income claim because they care about the health and wellness and mental, I almost said mental capacity, mental capability of every individual who joins. And they're not just here to make a profit off of them. All right, you guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really, really liked it, please subscribe. Let's talk anything and everything. Beach body, body, beach body in the comments below. And until my next video, I will see you guys then. Bye.